let me just tell you, you remember the weekend, right? We talked mm -hmm. about that last mm -hmm. week, right? That major change in, in weather. Going to do it again on Friday. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be 60 at midnight, guys. And then we're going to have wind chills in the teens probably by late Friday night. I'm getting ahead of myself, though. Look at the spectacular outside shot. Uh, clear skies, but with clear skies, temperatures drop, right? You need the clouds to act as a blanket to keep some of that daytime heat in. We didn't have a lot of heat yesterday. I hear you screaming at the TV. But, you know, we would like to have that blanket. So since we don't, this is what we have. This is the result of it. You go from Hell's Kitchen, it feels like 9 to 3 in the Bronx. How about Plainfield, New Jersey? 5 0 right now in Westchester. Again, these are dangerous wind chills at this hour. You don't want to expose your nose, your ears, your lips, your fingers, your toes, obviously not your toes, but you don't want to do that for more than 20 minutes. By 30 minutes, you get frostbite. If you start to feel tingling on your forehead, that means you need to get indoors. High pressure, that's the driving story. That is bringing us that north wind. Hello, Canada. I love Canadians. Canadians always get upset when I say the reason we are cold is because of Canada. It is. Not the people, just the air mass on top of you, Canada. And so that's why we have to say that that's the story number two. Cold now because of Canada. See? High pressure to the north. Their temperatures are in the teens. All of a sudden, you're talking about going 10 to 20 degrees below your average high. Today, this afternoon, your wind chill is not feeling good. Astoria, Queens will be at 23 around 3 p.m. We get into Brooklyn and Red Hook, 22 degrees, over to New Jersey at 24. If you're in Larchmont, Westchester, or Mount Vernon, it will feel like 20 this afternoon. And on Long Island, 21 degrees. Now, where's the good news, Byron? I'm going to give it to you. You know when we talk about a warm front, we're going to stop that next time. And we're going to make that stop, and then we're going to show you that as it slowly goes up. But what I tell you this, when you see that red line to the south of us and there's cold air on top of us, temperatures can go 10 to 20 degrees above normal because we tap into a southwest wind. And that southwest wind takes that 70 that's down in Florida, where our friends and family are, like in Orlando down in South Beach, and it transports it up towards us. It's the opposite of a cold air advection from Canada. We're talking about warm air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And look at the temperatures. We go from Astoria, Queens, 23 this afternoon to 65. Record warmth possible, it looks like, on Thursday. Harrison, New Jersey, 66. Maybe record warmth there. And then Merrick, Long Island, to 64. So we're going to do a roller coaster ride the next two or three days, guys. Today, not good. And then 48 degrees tomorrow. We're warming up as the winds shift to the southwest. And we'll put those winds on there as well. And then 65, 65 degrees, Alex, by Friday at midnight.